Welcome to the Snorin CAD installation tutorial for the Traffic Stop plugin for the Snorin CAD plugin system. Today we're just going to be installing the Traffic Stop plugin. We're going to have to need locations and puzzles is optional, but locations is required. Make sure that you have the plus version of Snorin CAD or higher. If not, this plugin will not work for you. Like I said, locations is required and postals is optional. We won't have a tutorial on this today because we've already made one prior to this. Open up here and download the latest source code on the GitHub. We need to navigate to our plugins folder in our Sonoran CAD plugin framework. In our Sonoran CAD, Sonoran CAD plugins folder. Go into the there open up traffic stop and drag and drop it over. Once it's dragged and dropped over, we need to rename the config by removing change me from it. Open up the config. I've changed enabled to true, but unfortunately this plugin hasn't been updated to the new uh, enabling and disabling of the plugin yet. So like it shows, Locations is required. Postals is optional. Um, below that uh, are other configuration options. Uh, origin, uh, I would say keep it at 2. Status, uh, I would keep it at 1. Um, to the right of it, it shows what number corresponds to what, just in case you do want to change it. Priority, uh, 1, 2, or 3, completely up to you. Title, that's the name of the call. Um, by default, it's traffic stop. I would suggest keeping at that unless you want to change that. Code, depending on what 10 code or 11 code or whatever code you use in your community for a traffic stop, I would suggest switching it to that just so everyone is on the same page. I'm going to keep it on 10, 11 traffic stop just because that's what I prefer, especially for this tutorial. Make sure that we uncomment line 24 if you're running on this version of the plugin. If not, enabling it above will just do the trick. Remember, uncommenting is just removing the two dashes in front of it. Now we can close out and go back to the documentation. As you can see, there's configuration options that explain everything for what they are. Like I said earlier, I've already gone over these, so I'm not going to go over them again. The traffic stop plugin ships with ACE permission checks. This means you'll need to give everyone the command.ts ace permission if you would want them to use it. We're going to go into the Sonoran CAD and double check that I have my API ID set because you need that in order for the call to be created and you to be attached. Let's go to our server.cfg. That way we can add the ace permission for everyone to use the command.ts. Again, look up ace permissions on 5m forums if you're unsure on how to do ace permissions. As you can see, I did ace at, correction add underscore ace space group dot everyone space command dot ts in order to enable it. As you can see, I'm putting in my identifier real quick just so I can allow myself to do it. Once I've enabled it for me, like I said, command.ts. There's one thing that I forgot to do here, and that's putting allow at the very end of it. If you don't do allow, it's not going to work. Once we've done that, we can now hop in game. Everything is configured, so we'll see you there. All right, we're now in game. Pulled behind a two-door silver sedan. So we're now going to need to do slash TS space whatever the vehicle description is. Do note if you are using Wraith plugin with this as well with the radar, it will also put in the plate for you in the call. But we do not have that installed today. All right, it sent the traffic stop to the CAD and let's now check the CAD to make sure it's in there. All right, as you can see, the call is now in the CAD. 
um, under the correct postal 5008, has my unit number, has the code, has the title, has the traffic stop description with the description of the vehicle that I did put, uh, has the address, same priority that I listed, call status is the same, uh, same with um, call origin. Um, if I click self dispatch, I can put a note if I want with the actual plate that it is. And thank you for choosing Sonoran Software Systems.